Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. So in the last video we have talked about list and we were supposed to complete tuples and set but unfortunately it was a lengthy video so let's complete those things in this video. So when we learned about list it's very simple right we have a list of values. Now this list can be of different type it can be of type uh, integer or a string or float. Now we have another type which is called as tuple. Now what is tuple? So tuple is almost same as list. We, we can have a collection of value there. The difference is in list we can change value because list is mutable and tuple, you guessed it right, is immutable. That means you cannot change the value. Okay, but where it can be used, that's a different thing, you know. So let's try it out. First, let's create a tuple. So we'll say tup equal to and the way you create a tuple is we can use some brackets, right? In list, we used to use a square bracket and we used to specify values. There's a thing here. When we use a square bracket, see nowhere we are mentioning that we are going to use list, right? So the, by default, this square bracket means list. How do we use tuple? Because we cannot use square bracket now. So we have to use a round bracket. So round bracket defines it's a, it's a tuple. 21 comma 36 comma 14 comma 25 now once you specify these values here you cannot change it so we got our tuple if i say enter you can see we got 21 30, 36 14 and uh, 25 now let's try to change the value let's try it so i will say tup uh, can i use a uh, square bracket first let me fetch the value so i will say one enter oh, it works okay so we so when you want to fetch values we can use square bracket okay let's try to change the values i will say Tube uh, of 1 is equal to, I want to change from 36 to 33. I will say enter, you can see we got an error. It says uh, tuple object does not support item assignment. That means you, you cannot basically change the value. Can we use certain methods which we had in list? Let's try. So if I, if I say tup dot control space, you can see we have only two methods. One is count and second is index. Okay, if you're getting confused, what is count? Count was there in list as well. So count will count the number of occurrence of a number. Example, let's say if in, a, in, a, in, in your tuple, you have 10 values and out of which you have some values like five, which is repeated two times. So if you say five, it will give you answer two. And you can specify, you can fetch the index value for a particular element, but you, you don't have any method which will replace the value, which will append the value. You can see you don't have those things here. Tuple is like list, but then you cannot change the value of it. Now, when, when you should be using tuple? So when you know that you have a list and you don't want to change the values of it, and yes, in certain projects, we have this requirement. You want to set up values and you don't, you don't want to change it. So of course you will go for tuple there. Since we don't change values in tuple, so iteration in tuples is faster than in list. So that's where you can use tuple if you want to enhance the speed of your execution. So that's about tuple. Now it's time to look at set. So what is set? Now, if you remember the mathematical definition of set, it is simply a collection of elements. It is a collection of unique elements, okay? So let's try. So I will say set, I will say yes, S equal to. How do I define set? Because the square bracket is for list, round bracket is for tuple. Uh, we are remaining with only one bracket now, which is curly bracket. So curly bracket is for set. In fact, in math as well, we, I guess we use, we use curly brackets. So now I will say 22 comma 25 comma 14 comma 21 comma uh, let's say 5 so i got these values here now these are random values no specific sequ uh, no se specific sequence uh, so they are, these are not sorted now there's one more thing with set you know if I, first of all i will say enter you can see we got a set i will not be printing it now so let's talk about the concept here now set now never follows a sequence okay so it, it will not follow the sequence in which you have added those elements now if you think if i type s and if i say enter you will get the same values uh, yes, you will get the same values, but not in a same sequence. Okay, that's important here. Let's say enter. You can see the values. We got 5, 14, 21, 22, and 25. I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking this is sorted. Uh, no, not exactly. Let me just try once again. I will say S equal to, again, a curly brackets, and then 25, comma, 14, comma, 98, comma, 63. Okay, I'm going for random values. Okay, I'm not, I, I don't have these values in my mind. I'm just looking at my keyboard and just hitting those numbers. And I will also try to repeat some values here. Because last time I forgot to repeat the value, this time I will do it. I will let me repeat uh, 98. Yeah. Now if I say enter, and if I print the value of s, look at the sequence. First of all, we got 98 only once, and second, look at the sequence. There is no ascending or descending order. It is random values. So you cannot be sure with the sequence in set. 
the reason is set uses a concept of hash and using hash we we improve the performance we want to fetch the element as fast as possible so it simply says okay just go with this go with the flow so we want speed then sequence here but yes if you want to make a sequence you can just do certain things like sorting elements and all those stuff but here set will not for the sequence now can we change the value of set let's try okay first of all can we can we use uh, can we use index number here if i say two you can see in set indexing is not supported you know why because we don't have proper sequence right w what you will do with the indexing so yes in set we cannot do that can we change the value that that's an issue right so if you say s dot you can see our method called as add using which you can add the value and then what else we can use we can use pop we can use remove uh, so this thing works in set you know so you can you can try it out you can do some experiment and it should work so that's how we use set so we have tuple and we have set so let me just go for a quick recap so we, we, have, we have a list list is like a collection of values now this can be of different type or of same type doesn't matter and we have a concept where uh, we can add values we can remove values we can update values can we yes we can so then we have tuples where tuples is same like same as list the difference would be in tuples you cannot change the values because it, they are immutable and then we have set now set is almost same as list the difference would be it will not maintain the sequence and it will not support duplicate values so that's important right so that's list tuple and set for you so i hope you enjoyed this session let me know in the comment section and do click on the like button if you're enjoying it thank you so much for watching everyone Bye bye